Best acting is truthful acting. What does that mean? Believable, doesn't look like acting. You totally believe it's real, natural, truthful. The definition of acting, living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. How do we live truthfully? Let's listen to Javier Bardem talk about this character. The challenge was to create this person who would feel nothing. He will follow his own ethics, no matter what, and he will do it against his own will. I guess that's the crazy part. Like if something beyond his control or over him is telling him how to act. This character is just like life. Life is extremely unpredictable. This character is the same. You do not know exactly what he's going to do. He doesn't know exactly what he's going to do. When he hears something, he thinks, okay, based on the code, I have to flip a coin, and based on the outcome of the coin, I have to either kill you or let you live. And that creates a compelling, captivating, moment-to-moment -moment performance and character that you have to watch because you just don't know exactly what they're going to do next. Meisner said, where there is struggle, there is life. There's intense struggle as this man is trying to get the money and also live up to this strict code, which he himself, which he believes is greater than himself. And he's just a servant to this code. How did Javier Bardem do this? As an actor, that's the world that I kind of created for myself to, I guess, justify Anton Schiger's actions. So you have to really understand a little bit of what's going on in your mind in order to execute those horrible actions. How can you do this too? Look, you may be watching this performance and think, I'll never be able to be that good. It's Javier Bardem. Wrong. That is not true. Javier Bardem is a man. He's a fantastic actor. But you can do this too. And here's how. To live truthfully under imaginary circumstances, you need to practice the independent activity. Invented by Sanford Meisner, this is a way to break down the elements of life into three categories. Everyone is always doing something. Now that's a theory, but go do your own research and ask yourself, is that true? Are people always in the midst of some sort of activity? In my experience, the answer is yes. Therefore, all great characters are always doing something, and they're doing something for a reason. Acting is not saying lines, so don't worry about going to a script right away. Right now, by yourself, practice this. Give yourself something you can actually get done. Pack a bag, clean a room, cook a meal, make a cocktail, iron a shirt, fix something that's broken, replace the film in a camera. There's an endless amount of things you could do, physically get done. The difficulty is inherent in the activity itself. That's one element. The other two elements are imaginary. And this is how we live truthfully under imaginary circumstances. We practice doing that by filling in the urgency and the meaning of that activity. Why do I need to get this done and why now? Drama is a series of things to get done. One character overcoming obstacles to achieve a specific goal. All of the scenes in between are things the character has to do to get closer to their goal. They either fail at getting it in a scene or they're educated that a new way exists. So how do you practice this on your own? Well, look what Javier Bardem said about his character. He said, I had to create a world in which I justify my actions. What does that mean? It means you need to make what you do believable to you. That's where choosing the urgency and choosing the meaning is super important. You need to get to know yourself really well. If the best actors act from their instincts, that means the best actors know how to access what's true to them in the best way. You're no different. So when you go to do your independent activity, let's say it has an inherent difficulty, What's the urgency? Why do you need to get this done now? And make sure your choice is something you can believe. Don't say, I have to pack this bag in four seconds. You don't believe that. Your actor's faith or your ability to believe is something that has to attach to a real choice that you can justify. So pick something that's urgent, but believable. And the third element is meaning. The reason why you're doing this. Why are you packing this bag? Maybe you're going on a trip because there's a part that you've been cast in, but the flight leaves in an hour, it's a 35 minute commute, you're running very late and you realized I'm an hour behind. When you looked at the ticket, you thought, oh, I thought I had another hour. You don't, you don't. The urgency is there, the meaning is there, the difficulty is there. Now pack the bag. Here's a super important thing you need to do to train yourself. Do it with reality. Don't fake an emotion. Don't try to huff and puff. That's not real. That's not what people do. 
pack the bag with reality. If you've chosen in a way that brings out your ability to believe it, you'll do it with reality. You'll be motivated internally and externally to get that thing done in a specific way. What's the specific way you need to do it? The real way, just get it done. If you master the activity, you master acting. It's as simple as that. The foundation of acting is the reality of doing. If you can do things with reality, and Javier Bardem had to justify, why does Anton Chigurh do what he does? It has to be based in a reality this character and this actor understand. That's why he said there was a certain code of ethics that this man lived by that he felt was passed on to him by something superior. So it really wasn't personal when he would murder someone. It was just something he was serving, a higher purpose. The script and the character all take care of the fact that the guy is a sociopathic serial killer. But the actor, if he isn't that, has to justify those actions by creating a world that he can believe. If you can do that, you can act as good as Javier Bardem. If you wanna learn more effective, useful tools like this one, I teach acting one-on-one -on -one to actors all over the world via Zoom. If you wanna do a free consultation with me, just email me, actorslab at anytownpictures.com. We can set up a free 30 minute consultation and discuss your goals, obstacles. I can tell you what I teach and you can decide if that's something you wanna do. Spots are filling up, I'm basically full. So message me now. If you want to work with me, if you want to elevate your acting, reach out. If you're not ready to reach out, that's okay. I have a class that you can buy. It's called How to Act Truthfully in Less Than an Hour. It goes over nine acting principles similar to this one that can help empower you to become a better actor, giving you useful, actionable steps you don't need an acting partner for. Over a thousand people have watched it. I've got nothing but positive reviews. And if you can't afford anything and you don't know what else to do, just follow the videos. It's totally free. Read Sanford Meisner on acting. Watch all my videos. I'm trying to be for others what I wish was there for me. It's my goal in life to help you become the best actor you can be. And I hope that these videos are helping you and I hope that you subscribe and follow for more acting tips like this one.